copyright of the same or you have well, let us say developed some music you don't want it to be copied by anyone else or you have developed a technology and uh, again you don't want it to be copied by anyone so uh, you would do the, the patent of your technology but uh, in the case of uh, developing country especially this is a big problem where one technology is being copied by uh, some other company so this leads to the violation of the intellectual property intellectual means whatever that have generated whatever that have come from your uh, thought process from your mind from your creativity from your innovation so to protect uh, uh, your innovation this intellectual property right uh, have also uh, you know come all across the globe and uh, india also follows through indian patent act gi is a geographical indicator and there is an international organization wipo that uh, uh, serves to protect the intellectual property at international level there are some uh, static so these were some general dynamic concept uh, which is uh, specific uh, specially uh, focus on the current affair aspect but there are some general science portion as well that is the botany zoology chemistry and physics now this is what the upsc prelims uh, talk about but in the present context the inclination of uh, the question towards uh, the dynamic aspect that is current affair related aspect is more than the static aspect but still as a portion of the upsc syllabus we should be covering it so but not in very much detail even if you are non science student you don't need to worry because uh, maximum general science portion is uh, till 10th standard and till 10th standard uh, you all have studied uh, the science portion so it will not be a big uh, deal uh, in botany you don't need to study much you just need to study the plant kingdom the various plant parts plant cell pollination and cultivation technique botany is important because india is an agricultural country and being an agricultural country uh botany becomes a uh, little important different uh, uh innovation in the field of uh, agriculture is given more importance so if not uh, zoology or chemistry or physics at least you should focus on the botany part uh zoology uh, the question used to come on the animal kingdom the plants uh, parts of the human body and its function the animal cell the blood very importantly uh but you can keep this on the secondary preference chemistry applied chemistry chemicals uh, the metal and the non metal you don't need to remember the chemical formula you don't need to remember the chemical reaction not at all required from the physics now physics is important because it have got direct application with the uh, technology aspect so uh, uh, again uh, as you can see uh, the question is more on the applied part okay so day to day uh, application whatever is required for example the watch that you wearing the uh, hands the mobile that you are using uh, uh, the, the basic application that we see in the day to day life would be asked not very much technical aspect is required now if you see the break up of uh, the question uh, year wise uh, the number of the questions i would uh, uh, like to take from 2013 to 2019 onwards because it is from 2013 that upsc had done a major change from uh, two general studies it came to four general studies and uh, from two optional to one optional so major change was done in 2013 and even if you happen to do uh, questions from 2013 to 2019 and uh, this year 2020 as well if you include so eight year question paper would be more than sufficient for you to attempt uh, most of the upsc questions so in 2013 if we see the prelims there were close to 13 uh, prelims close to 13 prelims questions and uh, close to six uh, question in the mains if you see in 2014 there were close to 16 questions and uh, with respect to mains there were uh, just four questions in 2015 there were close to 15 question in prelims and uh, uh, relatively four question in the mains then again in 2016 the pattern decreased so if you can see the pattern okay it has increased and it have decreased then again it have increased and again it has decreased so 2020 uh, 2020 we can consider the pattern to be on the increasing side um, and again 2021 again it could be an increasing side probably from 2022 onwards the question might decrease for uh, two years again it will increase so it increases for 2 3 years then decreases for 2 3 years you can consider that as pattern but if you take the 
pattern of the mains it was only in 2006 uh, 13 that uh, six question was asked but if you see in the question 2016 there was uh, only three questions there were only three questions but if you take rest of the year 2014 fourth question 2015 fourth question 2017 18 and 19 fourth question so we can take a thumb rule ki bhai mains mein fourth question will come theek hai and in prelims there would be see in none of the year less than 10 question have come so you can consider on a safer side to be plus uh, you know more than uh, 12 question you can consider will come from the prelims and fourth question will come in the mains now this fourth question some question could be of 10 marks it could be of 12 and a half marks or it could be 15 marks in general these days the questions are coming in the range of 10 to 15 marks in mains and prelims to fixed hai prelims may uh, two questions uh, two marks per question okay so having understood having got the weightage of uh, the actual uh, uh, science and technology let us now see the overlapping of science and technology with other subjects so this is the mistake that most of the student uh, do while preparing any topic is they prepare the topic in just uh, isolation for example if you are a science student and if you are studied in 11th and 12th standard uh, physics have got no relation with chemistry chemistry have got no relation with the uh, biology uh, biology have got no relation with mathematics so basically all those subjects were studied in isolation uh, but in upsc subjects having understood in uh, isolation should be overlap Uh, or you should be able to relate it with the other uh, uh, topics as well so if we take uh, uh, science and technology uh, of course if you can see uh, towards the bottom the science and technology is there in your general studies paper 3 no doubt in that but uh, it is also there in the general studies paper 1 it have got application general study application uh, focus on the thing application so it have got application in general studies paper 1 geography area uh wherein the different irrigation irrigation technology is uh, related to science and technology the different agricultural practices the management of the land the water the forest resources all of these have got uh, uh you know the implication on the science and technology next is the general studies paper 2 wherein the the portion of the governance the e governance portion e governance is basically Uh, use of uh, the technology use of information and communication uh, in the in the governance system of the uh, administration so uh, technology comes into picture over here for example earlier all the government work were mostly on the paper work now today uh, most of the work are digitalized uh, we can directly form fill and uh, uh, the online of uh, uh, online form for the same and get our work done so that is a part of the govern e governance and uh, which is a part of the science and technology in terms of the digital india program the education or the poverty malnutrition uh, science and technology plays role in all of these topic international relation Uh, nuclear programs yes very very important for example you must have heard of uh, india and us nuclear program that is going on the uh, which is going on in the news the cyber attack the disease pandemic that is a corona have got implication on the science and technology in terms of general studies paper 3 if you see the economic section economic section have got certain syllabus that is infrastructure infrastructure may be for example road the uh, port the Uh, air system the railway system the energy all of this are part of the indian infrastructure system and have got a relation with the technology as well the technology in the agriculture sector so over here in geography you can see ki agriculture is there in the geography also and in economics also agriculture is there and science play a very important role in both nuclear energy yes so yahan pe bhi ab dekho international relation mein bhi nuclear energy hai ठीक है एंड इन इकोनॉमिक्स में भी न्यूक्लियर एनर्जी है तो दीज टॉपिक्स आर ओवरलैपिंग सो नेक्स्ट इज नेक्स्ट इज द एनवायरमेंट एंड द डिजास्टर मिटिगेशन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन गारंटेड क्वेश्चन कम एवरी ईयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल द डिजास्टर कॉज बाय दाइक्लोन द डिजास्टर कॉज बाय अर्थ डिजास्टर कॉज बाय फ्लड 
so you cannot uh, you know stop the disaster but you can prevent the hazard that is caused due to that uh, in terms of the internal security the cyber security uh, have become a very challenging and a new type of threat to the national security again related to the science and technology so having understood all the topic of the science and technology what you should be doing is uh, you should have uh, you should apply the basics of all of these uh, into uh, all of the general studies paper 1 2 and 3 uh, what are the books uh, that uh, you should refer the books and the resources the standard book is the ncert you should uh, of course not bypass the ncert uh, from 6 to 10 standard i would suggest not to go for 11th and 12th standard because 11th and 12th standard is more specific uh, related to science they are on the little difficult side uh, so i would suggest you to stick to 6 to 10 standard for history geography economics polity you can refer 11th and 12th but for science and technology i would suggest 6 to 10th only uh, with respect to magazine there is a government magazine called as science reporter ठीक है दिस कम्स एवरी यू नो एवरी मंथ this is the thin magazine you can certainly refer this this have got very good articles uh, since this is government resource so if you can see over here ncert is a government book this magazine science reporter is also a government uh, magazine then next is the rajya sabha tv rajya sabha tv again uh, the government uh, news channel on that a program science monitor theek okay, hai science monitor which is in english and uh, gyan vigyan the same program in hindi media it comes every saturday so i would suggest you to please see that it is an half an hour episode every saturday science monitor ya gyan vigyan either of the two you can see same hai ek english mein ek hindi mein next is the india year book theek hai this is a yearly compilation of uh, the uh, one year uh, current affair of whatever uh, have come in the news in the or whatever the government have done so far uh, with respect to various dimensions not only science and technology so it have got some uh, close to 32 to 35 chapters out of that uh, uh, the information communication chap chapter the defense chapter the energy chapter science and technology development and transport chapter can be done from india year book so india year book comes every year you need to refer the a uh, latest current uh, latest india year book for example the 2020 is going on so you should refer 2020 uh, india year book then the uh, the hindu newspaper every sunday there is an article on the science and technology so just once in a week uh, the hindu newspaper for science and technology would be sufficient and last but not the least i would suggest you to refer the website of department of uh, science and technology so uh, my dear students you can see over here that out of uh, uh, six resources i have referred five resources which is government resource jaise like ncert science reporter magazine rajya sabha tv india year book and this website ye jo panch hai these are all sarkari theek hai government resources uh, the hindu is a private publication so for upsc preparation always try to stick your resource to the government resources else there is lot of private publication uh, and uh, you can do phd on any of the topic given by the upsc but that is not the objective okay so stick to government resources that is for the general public and for the general public it is written in simple language and most of the question comes directly from the government resource so that is our objective to be able to solve the question now uh, so far what we have done is uh, we have tried to uh, we have tried to understand uh, the syllabus of the upsc uh, we have seen that it is there in the general studies paper 3 of mains and in the general studies uh, uh, paper 1 of the prelims uh, general studies paper 3 uh, mains may we have saw that on an average four question comes and in the general studies paper 1 of prelims we saw that uh, we should be ready with at least uh, more than 12 question we can expect more than 12 questions then the breakdown of the syllabus we saw that there are topics from the space technology information communication nuclear technology digital technology there are other topics like defense this uh, program and the research then the, the disease very very important then biotechnology most important then particle physics robot nanotechnology the energy chapter 
the food standard, uh, the intellectual property right. These are some very, very important ones. In the, uh, some general uh, static portion of uh, the general sciences, botany, zoology, chemistry, and physics, of this I suggested you to focus especially on the botany part. Uh, we saw the year-wise uh, uh, breakdown of the number of the question. Out of 100 question, close to 12 plus 12 question comes in prelims, and out of 20 question in general studies paper three, four question is from the technology. Overlapping of science and technology, we saw with uh, there are other subjects such as GS paper one, GS paper two, GS paper three. All of, uh, in fact, other subjects can also be correlated. For example, you can relate. Uh, the uh, history of GS1 with, uh, you can relate it with GS2, GS3, or GS4. Similarly, GS4, ethics can be related to other subjects. Books and the resources we saw, the NCRT, the magazines, the Rajya Sabha TV, the few selected chapters of India Your Book, the weekly uh, current affair from the Hindu newspaper, and a monthly compilation from this uh, website of department and uh, science and technology. So monthly, month me ek bar if you if, if you see uh, this website, that would be more than sufficient. So now uh, we have uh, tried to uh, you know uh, correlate last twenty years of the question paper and uh, get you how to just start up with. We'll be uh, taking up with a very first topic that is the space technology. But uh, before that, I would uh, like to take a small two minutes break. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Amresh from the Prayas management team. So while Sir is taking break, so I would like to interact with you people because uh, we have a lot of questions regarding a uh, UPSC civil services this year examination, whether it has got postponed and when the next examination means uh, 2021 is going to be held on. Okay. So there are a lot of questions there. Okay. So obviously, uh, our preparation ki baat hai ki hume kaise preparation start karna chahiye. Whether we should start the preparation online. Agar hum online karte hai, to will we be able to understand the things properly? Okay. So a lot of questions are going into the mind. Okay. So uh, guys, I would like to say you exam to ho gai. Aaj nahi to kal ho gai. Right. So jaise ki aapko pata tha, uh, 31st ko exam hone wala tha but it has got postponed okay so date abhi nahi aaya hai 20th of may ko maybe uh, we will uh, be getting the finalized date okay so anyway aaj nahi to kal exam hone wala hai theek hai so now ab aap apne preparation journey ko kaise leke jaate ho it is in your hand right so uh, basically uh, rather than wasting the time or waiting for anything okay to come okay so i believe or we believe uh, you should definitely start okay so because this is the time of the technology okay so say it uh, i just want to know aap mein se kitne uh, i'm just going to take 2 minutes uh, then azam sir will start again aap mein se kitne aise log hai jo uh, next year means 2021 ko target kar rahe okay so if you are targeting 2021 examination so uh, please uh, chat box mein yes likhe or you can uh, raise your hand okay so Khushi is saying yes, Tushar is saying yes, okay. So 2023, Swapnil is saying, uh, survey is saying yes, okay. Deepak is saying yes, okay. Uh, Manjunath is saying yes, okay. Sujit is saying yes, okay. So a lot of people are there, okay. So here are so many people in today's attendance, mein, uh, 55 people I can see. But out of that, so many people are saying, yes, sir, I'm going to appear in the next year, okay. So great, okay. So let's take one level more up. How many people are there who are not watching 21, nahi, 22, dekh rahe, okay. Means uh, next to next year, okay. So 22, how many people of you? Okay, so Akangsa is saying yes. Anshu is saying 2022, yes, okay, An Anshu. Uh, Tony is saying yes. Uh, Shamima is saying 2022. Very good. Okay. So I believe you have seen some of you who are watching 23, bhi dekh rahe honge, right? Okay. Okay. So 23, uh, 
कोई है ओके सो स्वप्निल इज सेइंग 23 वेरी गुड स्वप्निल ओके सो ओके फाइन नाउ चलो अभी छोटा सा मुझे ये भी बता दो कि दिस ईयर हु इज गोइंग टू अपीयर कौन ऐसे लोग हैं जो 2020 मतलब 31 मई को भी अपीयर होने वाले थे अभी जो जिन्होंने फिल अप किया था फॉर्म ओके ओके सो देखो अभी मेरे पास डेटा नहीं आ रहा है ओके सो आप एक बार दिमाग में सोचो कि अगर मैं इस साल अपीयर होने वाला था तो क्या मैंने अपनी पढ़ाई बंद कर दी है या फिर आई हैव कंप्लीटली स्टॉप और मतलब मैं किस स्टेट ऑफ माइंड में हूँ लाइक एग्जाम है और या फिर मैं इस प्लेटफॉर्म में नहीं हूँ मे बी बिकॉज दिस इज दिस इज फॉर द बिगनेस प्लेटफॉर्म ओके सो एनी ओके सो देखो दोस्तों यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विसेज के प्रिपरेशन के लिए मिनिमम आठ से दस महीने का एक अच्छा टाइम पीरियड चाहिए ओके ताकि जो है हम अपने कोर्सेस को स्लोली और स्टीडली समझ सके अच्छे से हम जाए ओके बिकॉज द टारगेट इज नॉट टू गेट थ्रू द एग्जाम just we have to get a very good score also because we want our dream job right jab ek mark se aadhe mark se aapko aapka dream career nahi milega suppose you dreamed to be into ias aur aapko ips mil jayega to aapko feel hoga meaning of value of half marks one mark okay so i want ki aapki practices itni ho ki aap usko achieve kare right to iske liye aapko ek acha matlab samay aap di matlab ek jo hai duration chahiye okay so see जिस तरह से लाइक uh, लॉकडाउन like, चल रहा है तो वी बिलीव लाइक मे बी कि थोड़ा टाइम लग जाएगा ओके मे तो चला गया जून चला जाएगा जुलाई अगस्त लग गया तो फिर वी आर वेस्टिंग आर टाइम मतलब हमारा टाइम जा रहा है ओके सो व्हाट वी नीड टू डू ओके सो ऑनलाइन इज आल्सो अ वेरी वेरी यू नो लाइक ग्रेट इनिशिएटिव लाइक नाउ डेज ओके सो बिकॉज इट इज कम्प्लीटली लाइव आई बिलीव कि मैं आपसे इंटरेक्ट कर पा रहा हूँ मैं आपको जो बोल रहा हूँ वो आप तक पहुंच रहा है ओके okay. सो so, अगर आपको लगता है कि यस yes, uh, अगर आप में से कोई चाहता है कि नो यू वांट टू टॉक टू मी आल्सो सो आई कैन अनम्यूट यू एंड यू कैन टॉक टू मी ओके मीन्स इट इज क्वाइट लाइक यू नो इंटरेक्टिव तो अगर हम इस तरह से भी पढ़ाई करें तो अपने पढ़ाई के बहुत बड़े हिस्से को हम लोग इस तरह से भी कंप्लीट कर सकते हैं ठीक है तो चलो हम लोग एक बेसिक बताते हैं कि प्रयास इंडिया इज कमिंग विथ वेरी गुड मॉड्यूल ओके बिकॉज वी डो नॉट वेट टू कम फॉर द टाइम ओके सो वी जस्ट वी आर अहेड ऑफ ऑल ओके सो इसके लिए हमने जो इनिशिएटिव लिया है दैट इज द प्रयास लाइव कोर्सेस जिसको कि ऑब्वियसली कोर्स मतलब कंप्लीट कोर्स ओके जिसमें प्रिलिमिनरी एग्जामिनेशन हो मेन एग्जामिनेशन हो एंड ऑब्वियसली हमारी पर्सनालिटी टेस्ट भी हो ओके तो मेन एग्जामिनेशन ही हमारा मेन होता है राइट तो उसमें हम लोग पेपर को टारगेट करेंगे राधर देन टारगेटिंग द सब्जेक्ट जैसे हम हिस्ट्री को जियोग्राफी को इकोनॉमी को ऐसे टारगेट नहीं करेंगे हम टारगेट करेंगे जीएस वन को जीएस टू को जीएस थ्री को जीएस फोर को ऐसे पेपर को ओके एंड ऑब्वियसली करंट अफेयर्स को और हम जो है उसके अकॉर्डिंग टेस्ट देते जाएंगे और उसके अकॉर्डिंग हम एनालाइज करेंगे कि ऑल इंडिया लेवल पे हमारा रैंक क्या आ रहा है राइट right? और उसके अकॉर्डिंग हम लोग फिर अपने प्रिपरेशन को एक करेक्ट डायरेक्शन देंगे तो जब हम कोई प्रिपरेशन करते हैं तो इसमें कुछ बेसिक और बुनियादी चीजों की जरूरत होती है ठीक है सबसे पहली चीज ये होती है कि आपको आपके मेंटर्स बहुत अच्छे हों मतलब इन शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट मैटर एक्सपर्ट होने चाहिए तो अगर आप देखेंगे प्रयास के वेबसाइट में जाके तो देर इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ मेंटर्स ओके जो अलग अलग सब्जेक्ट आपको अलग अलग सर पढ़ाने वाले सेठ जैसे आजम सर बता रहे थे आपको साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में तो आई कुड सी ही ही वॉज शोइंग लाइक वेरी गुड यू नो एनालिसिस मतलब क्वेश्चन का एनालिसिस ओके जब हम वो सब धीरे धीरे हम देखते हैं तो हमारे दिमाग में बैठता है कि हमें अपना टाइम का डिवीजन कैसे करना है तो ऑब्वियसली सब्जेक्ट मैटर एक्सपर्ट ही आपको पढ़ाएंगे एंड यू आर गोइंग टू बी टॉट बाय अ टीम ऑफ अराउंड फिफ्टीन पीपल ओके दैट इज फास्ट थिंग सेकेंड थिंग इज वॉट जब भी आप पढ़ते हो तो मेटेरियल्स आपके लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है बट देर आर ह्यूज मेटेरियल्स अवेलेबल यू नो इन टू दाइक गूगल एंड ऑल सो वॉट वी नीड टू डू कि हम जो है आपको वही मेटेरियल्स देंगे जितना आपको कवर करना है ओके okay. और वो आपके जो सर आपको पढ़ा रहे हैं वो देंगे थर्ड थिंग इज वॉट टेस्ट टेस्ट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है पढ़ाई करते समय आप प्रैक्टिस के टेस्ट दीजिए दैट इज वन थिंग और जब खत्म हो जाए कोई टॉपिक तो आप टेस्ट सीरीज जो उसके टेस्ट होते हैं बहुत सारे सीरीज जो होते हैं 
आप उसमें अपेयर कीजिए तो दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट और इसके अलावा एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज क्या होता है मेन्स का आंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस ओके सो इफ यू सी अगर आप में से कोई स्टूडेंट है प्रयास के तो ही विल गेट टू नो ही विल टेल यू ही विल लेट यू नो कि डेली जो टॉपिक आप पढ़ते हो उसके ऊपर मेन्स की प्रैक्टिसेस होती है आपको आंसर लिखना होता है और आपके मेंटर चेक करके देते हैं और ये कंप्लीटली रेगुलेट होता है हमारे पोर्टल से ओके सो आई वुड से कि लाइक अगर आपने डिसाइड कर लिया है कि येस आई हैव टू लाइक यू नो स्टार्ट द प्रिपरेशन ओके तो नो प्रॉब्लम लाइक यू कैन स्टार्ट विद दिस लाइफ कोर्स आल्सो एंड दोज हु बिलोंग टू मुंबई एंड दोज हु बिलोंग टू अ प्लेस वेयर आर सेंटर लाइक फिजिकल सेंटर इज देयर एंड द पर्सन वॉन्ट्स की नहीं मुझे ऑफलाइन ही करना है नो प्रॉब्लम यू स्टार्ट कमिंग ऑफलाइन वंस द लॉकडाउन इज ओवर फॉर नाउ टाइम बींग वॉट यू नीड टू डू Do not waste your time. You start doing the preparation. So we are coming with some batches. Okay. So obviously I'm taking more time. So uh, Ajam said uh, you can uh, take your lecture. So I would say like you can start the preparation live also for time being. Okay. And completely live also it is completely possible. Okay. So thank you everyone. This was a message from my side. The whole idea was that that do not wait for the time to come. Okay. You just need to make your time yourself. Okay, आप अपने time को खुद बनाओ, utilize करो उसको properly. You will be ahead of others and you will get through this exam easily. Okay, ठीक है. So आपको मेरी बहुत-बहुत शुभकामनाएं हैं. So thank you very much. Okay. So okay, thank you, Azam sir. Okay, and uh, you can continue your lecture. Okay. Thank you, sir. so uh, students you are listening to uh, amresh sir he was uh, uh, talking more on the strategy and how you should be uh, going ahead with uh, us now let me take you back to uh, our uh, topic of the science and technology we had just uh, decoded the science and technology syllabus now it is time for us to take one topic and study so in the uh, syllabus given by the upsc uh, the gs paper 3 Uh, i'm going to take one topic the space technology today so on the uh, fourth line if you can see the awareness in the field of uh, the it the space computer so over here there is just one word mentioned with respect to the space technology just ek word space dal diya hai upsc ne theek hai ab koi ek normal upsc ka student hoga so in what detail that student need to do this uh, space technology kaise pata chalega For example, IT dal diya hai. Computer is given robotics. So, in what detail should we need to do? We will come to know this by looking at the previous year's question paper. So, I am going to take one topic space. Now, before actually taking the topic, let me first uh, uh, take the previous year's question paper. so if you can see this uh, question paper uh, the mains question paper this is related only to uh, only to uh, the uh, uh, space technology uh, the very first question talks about what is india's plan to have its own space station so this question had come in 2019 uh, mains if you see the next question in 2018 the question was on indian regional navigation satellite system again a space related question but this question was actually uh, asked in the geography area yes so uh, we cannot limit uh, the science and technology only to science and technology it have got overlapping with other syllabus as i have clearly mentioned uh, next is uh, uh, the juno mission in 2017 the question was asked from the juno mission it is the mission sent by the nasa on the jupiter the next question in 2017 was with regards to chandrayaan and uh, the mangalyaan that is mars orbital mission we must have heard about the chandrayaan 2 recently which uh, you know which was an unsuccessful uh, mission uh, but chandrayaan 2 was asked two years ago the chandrayaan mission there, there was two chandrayaan mission one and two so this was uh, in general question about chandrayaan mangalyaan which was a successful mission so in 2017 it was successful and that is the reason why the question had come the question number 5 if you can see the space
space science and technology so this was in general question with respect to space science and technology uh, and the basic uh, the uh, main objective was to find the application of this technology in the socio economic development so as we will proceed ahead with the uh, topic what is the application of the space and science in the socio economic development that is social upliftment uh, the economic uh, upliftment of the country this question was uh, asked in 2016 in 2015 the question was on irnss that is indian regional navigation satellite system so can you see question number 2 the question number 2 the question number 2 and uh, the question number 6 uh, is uh, same uh, so ye bhi irnss ke upar hai 2015 mein again irnss so we can consider a repetition of the question uh, so Uh, there is less less likely that upsc question gets repeated but uh, we can consider that as a small uh, chance of uh, the question uh, you know previous as question getting repeated so not very uh, you know uh, very brief uh, uh, analysis if we can see this few uh, few the question paper 19 18 17 16 15 every year one question have been asked so uh, this makes us uh, this makes our topic of uh, the uh, space technology very very important from means point of view now also try to see the space technology question from the prelims point of view in the prelims point of view we will not go into the detailing of the question if you are if you can see the uh, uh, the text part in the red color and the underlined uh, you know uh, topic the underlined one would give you understanding of what is a topic and what is a sub topic so the top topic is about the basics about solar system now solar system is a topic which is there in the geography also which amri sir is going to teach you all in the geography section uh, now solar system is also there in your space technology so the question in 2018 was on albert einstein theory of relativity then in 2012 the question was on expansion of the universe uh, some other question like in 2018 the magnetic field of the earth some basic questions about the planets the sun the solar system a very very good question that is a goldilocks zone question number 11 if we can see then a different uh, satellite orbit uh, a very very important topic i'm going to teach you this the different launch vehicle of the satellite you must have heard in the newspaper the pslv uh, gslv uh even if you are not aware in detail what is this thing i'm going to teach uh, this topic the different rocket system the different types of satellite now this is very very important the different types of satellite most of the question is revolving over here uh student if you can remember in 2018 there was this mains wale mein if you can see the question was an ir and ss the, again the question have come in the prelims also so uh, this was a question as in prelims as well as in mains then uh, there are different types of the satellite and if you can see a good number of question that is indian remote sensing satellite the mangalyaan mangalyaan again a satellite only the uh, insat satellite the gsat satellite okay the metsat satellite the astrosat satellite uh, you don't need to decode what are these things you don't uh, don't worry we don't know any of these uh, this is what we are going to learn in our session so you can see good number of question on the satellite there are most of these question indian satellites theek hai uh there are other space agencies theek hai like for example nasa the european space agency uh, uh then the the uh, russian space agency there are many space agencies of uh, other countries also you don't need to remember them in much detail only uh, the particular current uh, uh, affair uh, you can remember as such most of the questions are revolving around indian space technology now the black hole you must have heard this in the uh, you know the news that uh, you know the recently the first photograph of the black hole was taken so what is a black hole how it is formed so uh, how it, how the photograph was taken what was the what was the instrument that was used okay so all of these things uh, form part of the current affair so including the starting in the dynamic portion everything will be covered so now we have got an entire gist to what exactly i need to do in space technology so let us jump to the topic now so in the space technology 
now before going ahead i would like to take a, a count of the student uh, are you all able to understand what we are uh, trying to study over here are you all able to see the presentation and uh, can hear my voice properly just give me a thumbs up if we can do so okay just raise your hand if you can uh, yes i can see all right uh, at any point of time if you have any doubt just let me know you can write on the comment section uh, uh, towards the end of the lecture will we have a dedicated uh, time uh, for interaction to the student you can ask me your queries related to the topic related to the preparation and we'll further discuss on this it should not be just uh, me uh, as a uh, presenter speaking and you all just listening to me uh, it should be more of interactive so you can ask me the questions uh, we can later on unmute uh, the session so that all of you can uh, verbally ask not not necessarily you need to just uh, you know write your queries so let us take the first uh, topic space technology okay so uh, in, it is a very very vast field but i have got, given you the gist i actually have uh, you know what i have done is i have uh, limited try to limit your uh, study of the space technology because uh, space technology is very very vast field okay you don't need to become an astronaut uh, to be uh, to, uh, to study the space technology related to upsc we have just seen the question paper we have seen the syllabus and uh, our first objective is to be able to cover all of these things the second objective would be to whatever current affair comes uh, in your year of preparation you should uh, just uh, uh, try to correlate it and your preparation would be done so uh, in this uh, the topic that is to be studied is uh, the basic of the solar system the satellite orbits the launch vehicle the rocket system the different types of satellites are very very important and lastly the black hole this will be the topic a general topic for prelims as well as mains so we are doing an integrated uh, study approach for prelims as well as mains i would suggest uh, if you take your notebook and a pen take this as a normal lecture uh, and uh, you can note it uh, you know for your further reference of course you will get the notes for this but uh, for your understanding i would strongly recommend that you should keep making a note of this now uh, let us go back to the history of the space uh, science let us first try to understand the big bang we all have studied this and this will be taught in great detail by amrit sir in his geography uh, session uh, but uh, before uh, you know before that uh, uh, even if you want to study you can study this from your 11th standard ncert uh, of geography in that chapter number 2 11th standard ncert of geography in that chapter number 2 it uh, uh, talks about the basics of the space science it talks about the big bang theory and uh, uh, you know the basics uh, uh, will come from there the advanced as well as basic level concept will come from my side as well so uh, after uh, after taking the topic i will give you questions as well i would strongly recommend each of you to participate in that question and answers uh the questions will be of mcq nature it will be previous year's question you can uh, attempt the question then i will give you the mains question you can write the question and uh, we will correct your mains question as well so it would be an integrated approach of prelims as well as mains so evolution of the universe now uh, very very important a question have come on the uh, evolution of the universe as well so basically all of this matter all of uh, the matter of the universe was concentrated into a single point point of singularity what had happened was let us say everyone is trying to compress your head from all the side so what will happen the size of your head will start decreasing but at the same time uh, the, so the size will start decreasing uh, but at the same time the uh, the density the temperature will start increasing so in that case what will uh, happen is the pressure will start increasing the same happened in the universe a point came where in the uh, the pressure was increased to uh, such a high level that it exploded it exploded with a bang like it exploded with a big bang uh, 
and from there from there this uh, concept got the name this big bang uh, from big bang uh, many things were created that was matter the energy the space the time yes so time was also uh, not infinite time came into picture after the matter energy and space came into picture so uh, these uh, these things uh, uh, came out uh, three minutes after that the very first uh, atom of the universe was created uh, in the successive stage the uh, nebula so nebula is the uh, cloud which is uh, made up of hydrogen a hydrogen cloud was formed in that uh, the further process of the nuclear uh, uh, fusion started taking place nuclear fusion fusion as the word indicates uh, something is getting fused so over here what is getting fused is two hydrogen atom two hydrogen atom is getting fused and helium atom is being generated so uh, in the process a huge amount of energy is being released so hydrogen is relatively a lighter element helium is relatively a heavy element so two lighter element combining to form a heavy element the helium and in the process huge amount of energy is being released and uh, this is the process that is going on in the sun so when this uh, uh, started taking place uh, uh, the sun was formed close to 5 to 6 billion years ago uh sun as you know is the uh, star closest in our uh, galaxy in the subsequent stage what happened was a different material that was required for the formation of the planet that started getting condensed and uh, uh, this uh, material was known as a planetesimal uh, almost all the planet in our solar system was formed close to 4.4 4.6 billion years ago in the sequence if you take mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn and uranus neptune till 2006 was considered as a uh, sorry the pluto till 2006 was considered as a, a ninth uh, planet but after that uh, the uh, international astronomical uh, union uh, iau in 2006 they moved uh, pluto from the list of the planet now uh, many things are uh, coming uh, parallelly few things uh, will be taught in great detail in the coming topic uh, over here a few things will be taught, taught in the geography as well so over here uh, i'm not going much into the detail uh, else uh, this will lose our uh, uh, you know focus from the actual technology portion of the space uh, then then what happened was uh, uh, there one asteroid came at uh one asteroid came uh then it hit the earth and the earth was broken into two pieces uh one that is the actual planet that we are living presently and another uh, broken uh, part that started revolving around the sun uh, that is the moon so uh so this this breaking uh, you know generated a sound splat so consider for example if you take a stone and you hit on another big stone so it makes a no noise splat so from there this uh, concept uh, came into picture the big splat so from big splat the moon was formed this was a prelims question that uh, big splat uh, uh, is responsible for what it is responsible for the formation of the moon so big bang is responsible for what it is responsible for the creation of the universe okay the nebula theory is responsible for what it is responsible for creation of the sun okay so general studies hai na so for general studies you know you don't need to go very much in detail theek hai this much of detailing is uh, sufficient okay so uh, many many more things uh, many more uh, information about other planets but we'll restrict our uh, studies to earth now evolution of the earth uh, to place the material that was there inside the earth was randomly oriented theek hai the material uh, was randomly oriented uh, what does that mean see in the uh, in, in in the uh, universe the law of the uh, uh, density says that the denser material the denser material go you know settle at the bottom the rarer material okay the material which is relatively light in the weight uh, should be above the denser material so uh, the different material which were randomly oriented started getting arranged in the different different uh, uh, as per the density and as for the density as for the density the denser material went inside the rarer material uh, came up and thereby the different layers of the earth was created i'm not going 
much in the detail of this because this uh, topic is covered very much in detail in geography session. Uh, Amrish sir will be going to teach that. Uh, further, uh, further, what happened was so this uh, through this uh, the interior of the earth was formed. Further, what happened was uh, the different gases uh, initially the hydrogen and helium gases was uh, present in the uh, solar system, uh, especially surrounding the earth and the other planets as well. Uh, they started go going some modification. Modification means the material that were came outside along with those material, this, these gases that were trapped inside the earth, they also came out. Uh, when they came out uh, due to the gravity of the earth, they remained, uh, you know, uh, entrapped uh, close to the surface of the earth. They did not uh, leave the surface of the earth. But what happened was uh, the heat of the sun, the strong hot wind from the sun known as solar wind it came and stripped away the atmosphere of the earth and thereby the atmosphere of the earth became relatively thin uh, further detailing on this in the climatology section will be taught in the geography class uh, then uh, then came the uh, time wherein the uh, ga the gases got condensed and uh, the uh, ocean got formed so ocean was formed close to 3.9 billion years ago. So in the sequence, if we see parallelly, many things were happening. That is the interior of the earth was forming, the atmosphere of the earth was forming, the ocean was forming. So almost all of these things were going parallel. Okay. Now evolution of the life, how the evolution of the life uh, came into picture? The very first form of life uh, came in the form of blue green algae. This blue-green algae uh, was the first form of life, uh, the cyanobacteria that came inside the uh, water. So first form of life was in the water in the form of the blue-green algae, that is the cyanobacteria. Uh, the, the function of this was to do the photosynthesis. So they started taking the carbon dioxide, started releasing the oxygen, and the oxygen was present in the sufficient amount in the water the aquatic animals uh, you know, started coming uh, uh, into evolution. After this, the oxygen uh, came to the uh, atmosphere, got mixed to the atmosphere. With that, the those organisms started evolving, which can live in water as well as on the land. So amphibians was the third uh, uh, organism in the evolution. And finally, the terrestrial organism, the terrestrial plant, terrestrial method zameen pupil on the on the surface of the earth. So uh, the plants, the animals, the human being were the uh, last uh, uh, organism in the evolution of the life. So if we see in a nutshell, the very first form of life was a blue green algae. You can consider this uh, the cyanobacteria in the water. Then came the aquatic animal. Then came the uh, amphibians, and lastly the terrestrial. So, uh, so uh, the living organisms, the living organism that is plants, animals, they all are responsible for modification of the atmosphere. For example, that we are breathing the oxygen, we are releasing carbon dioxide. So consider if there are no trees tomorrow, there are no trees for the photosynthesis, what would happen is all the animals, uh, they will inhale the oxygen, they will exhale the carbon dioxide, so the composition of the atmosphere will, in, uh, you know, will get disturbed. Oxygen concentration will start decreasing, and carbon dioxide will start increasing. So can I say that living organism is responsible for modification of the atmosphere? Yes, of course. Then the uh, solar winds that was also responsible for modification of the atmosphere. So there are many more things in this uh, uh, in this uh, topic. But let us uh, uh, restrict uh, this to just uh, one slide. More will be taught in the geography session by Amrish sir. Now, uh, having understood just a small uh, you know, aspect of the solar system, I would expect each one of you to please attend this question and uh, give your answer in the comment section. Everyone, please attend this question. Read it very, very, uh, you know, very, very with a cool mind. Okay, the question is left in on the difficult side, but you can definitely attend this.
so mish uh, khushi have answered uh, b as a uh, correct answer over here okay i expect uh, each one of you to please attempt see you might be wrong this might be your first question in the preparation of the upsc you might be wrong absolutely no problem but the problem will be if you don't attempt because in upsc prelims there are 100 questions and out of 100 100 question there are just 30 to 40 question which is direct in nature most of the question requires logic or presence of mind application of your mind application of whatever you have studied so um, let me give you a hint okay very good you all are attempting uh you all are attempting very good answer but uh, let me give you a hint now the hint is uh, uh, there out of this three uh, statement statement 1 2 and 3 only one statement will help you to get a correct answer one statement will be you know helpful so most of the student i can see have marked the b as an answer one or two have also marked a as an answer very few student have marked c as an answer and none of the student have uh, marked d as any of the option there are still many more students see uh, to those students who have not given any comment not given any answer i would uh, strongly recommend you to do so the reason is you are going to become an administrator you are going to become a leader tomorrow okay you are going to lead or run the entire district so if you keep yourself as a back bencher if you hold your answer if you don't speak up how would you become a leader so it may the leader might not know everything but leader have to take initiative na so over here you have to take the initiative of giving the answer okay uh, because uh, uh, unless you give the answer how would i say whether you are right or wrong how would i get to know chalo finally swapnil have uh, attempted d as an answer very good i'm quite happy that most of you have attempted now let me decode this question let us try to solve this the question was a very recent question 2018 ka hai theek and not very old question just last to last year aaya hai to recent question ko zarur karna chahiye theek hai first statement the earth magnetic field has reversed every few hundred thousand years to bhai ye to pata hi nahi hai theek hai actually maine sikhaya nahi hai but i'm going to teach you all the magnetic field of the earth theek hai so in this uh, chapter itself i am going to teach the second statement says first of all theek hai ye wala one wala i don't know theek hai let us consider no one knows second statement uh, it may be right it may be wrong we don't know second statement when the earth was created more than 4000 million years ago there was a no oxygen uh, there was uh, oxygen okay uh, and over here it says no carbon dioxide so over here uh, this do you think this statement should be correct yes there was 54% oxygen and uh, no carbon dioxide so if you know uh, that uh, uh, with respect to the oxygen uh, uh, present present uh, presently there are there are uh, 20% 20 to 21% of the oxygen uh, on the surface in the climate ठीक है इंडिया एटमॉस्फेयर ऑफ द अर्थ 20 परसेंट लेस देन 21 परसेंट तो प्रेजेंटली 20 परसेंट है ठीक है तो पास्ट में 54 परसेंट कैसे हो सकता है ठीक है तो अगर आपको हिंट चाहिए तो लुक एट द हिंट ओवर हियर तो द हिंट इज ओवर हियर एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द अर्थ आई हैव गिवन यू दिस क्वेश्चन कि यहां पे जो है अर्थ का इंटीरियर बना ठीक है ओवर हियर over here so can you see most uh, initially it was mostly the hydrogen and the helium later on uh, water vapor nitrogen carbon dioxide methane uh, ammonia oxygen and very very little amount of the oxygen so jab tak living organism especially jab tak plant if the plant is not there how will oxygen be formed okay if the plant is not there the logic is how, how will the oxygen be formed how will the photosynthesis take place so uh, initially since plant uh, was not there the so concentration of oxygen was very very less and uh, from you can consider from a zero point you know uh, from a fraction of the percent it was increased to 20% uh, 
and uh, uh, so never we don't know what exactly was the percentage because it have increased from a very small to 20 percent but 54 percent was a deliberate uh, uh, statement given by the upsc and it is a wrong statement so now a hint over here uh, most of the question of upsc if it mentioned any kind of data okay if it mentioned any kind of data such questions are usually wrong questions such data is a trap so 90 percent yahan pe statement say hai, yes this data have uh, you know trapped you and made you to attempt this uh, correct as such this is the wrong statement okay so where there was very little oxygen there were more of carbon dioxide third statement says so from second statement since it is wrong can i eliminate uh, uh, can i eliminate b okay and can i eliminate d yes so my answer should be a or c okay my answer should be a or c let us see the third statement now when living organism originated they modified the early atmosphere of the earth when living organism originated they modified yes i hope you had focused on this statement of mine that the living organism that is plants human being they all are responsible for modification of the atmosphere modification ka matlab kya hota hai uh, either increasing or decreasing the concentration of particular uh, type of uh, you know particular uh, uh, gases in the atmosphere so pehle oxygen kam tha ab oxygen bad gaya hai pehle carbon dioxide zyada tha ab carbon dioxide kam in the future what will happen will the atmosphere remain the same not exactly in the future the concentration of the atmosphere may further change may further get modified so this is a very very correct statement so if i consider the one statement i don't know second wala is correct or wrong third wala is correct so over here uh, what could be the logical correct uh, answer it is c so i can see that uh, three four student had attempted uh, you know three four student had given uh, c as the answer and uh, a very uh, good attempt by those student so uh, pradnya shinde had given c as an answer manjunath had given c as an answer and a few other student as well uh, so very good attempt uh, i would uh, tell you all first question tha galat ho gaya koi baat nahi so uh, you should write this rule in your you know notebook uh, not a rule but uh, you know a trick to solve the question तो यहाँ पे आधे नॉलेज से हमने क्वेश्चन को अटेंड किया ठीक है आधा नॉलेज पूरा पता भी नहीं था फिर भी कर लिया तो पहला थम रूल ये है कि यूपीएससी में जो स्टेटमेंट होता है अगर उसके अंदर कोई डेटा है ठीक है तो देर इज हाई चांस कि वो गलत स्टेटमेंट होगा नॉट नेसेसरी एवरी एवरी टाइम बट प्रोबेबिलिटी होता है कि वो गलत स्टेटमेंट होगा ठीक है तो आगे बढ़ते हैं ठीक है नेक्स्ट टॉपिक के साथ करेक्ट आंसर सी है ओके तो बिफोर बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग हैड ठीक है अगेन यहाँ पे मैं uh, एक काउंट uh, लेना चाहूँगा कि सारे स्टूडेंट को अगर कंफर्टेबली अगर समझ रहा होगा तो हम लोग इसको फिर आगे प्रोसीड करते हैं यस जस्ट लेट मी लेट मी सी सम डाउट्स ओवर यर ठीक है तो देखिए स्टूडेंट चूंकि आज हमारा फर्स्ट सेशन है आई वॉन्ट बी एबल टू यू नो टेक अ वेरी वेरी लेंदी डिस्कशन बट यहाँ पे आने वाले दिनों में मैं आप लोग को क्या सिखाने वाला हूँ जैसे सोलर सिस्टम को थोड़ा सा बेसिक यहाँ पे डिटेल में uh, बहुत uh, सोलर सिस्टम जोग्राफी में इसलिए मैं यहाँ नहीं सिखाऊंगा ये रिसेंट में न्यूज uh, में आया था गोल्डी लॉक जोन क्या होता है ठीक है इसको मैं थोड़ा डिटेल में समझा दूंगा इसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन में आप लोग को बता दूंगा आंसर अभी मत देखिए स्पेस ऑर्बिट क्या होते हैं ठीक है जैसे हम लोग सेटेलाइट छोड़ते हैं ठीक है सेटेलाइट दैट वी लॉन्च फ्रॉम दी Earth, ठीक है, occupies different different position in the atmosphere, ठीक है. So what are those are called as orbit. So what are different type of orbit? All the satellite don't revolve in the uh, same orbit. They occupy different different orbit. So what are the different types of the orbit we are going to understand? Then the, what is the application of uh, you know these different orbit uh, and the respective satellites? so that would be of great uh, importance because these usually comes in the news for example let us say isro have uh, launched uh, uh, satellite uh, irns indian regional navigation satellite system so where it is located 
ठीक है इज इट जस्ट टेन किलोमीटर अवे फ्रॉम दी सर्फेस ऑफ दी अर्थ और फाइव थाउजेंड किलोमीटर अवे फ्रॉम दी सर्फेस ऑफ दी अर्थ वेदर इट इज सर्कुलर वेदर इट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल तो दीज थिंग्स कम इन द न्यूज पेपर बट नॉट हैविंग द बेसिक ऑफ दैट वी माइट नॉट अंडरस्टैंड कि हाँ होगा कहीं तो होगा ठीक है वट डज इट मैटर इट मैटर इन द यू पी एस सी एग्जाम ठीक है तो डिफरेंट ऑर्बिट्स वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर द for the different types of uh, the launch vehicles satellite launch vehicle you must have heard about uh, you know pslv ye recently new ye aksar news mein hota hai pslv polar satellite launch vehicle gslv theek hai geo geo synchronous satellite launch vehicle theek hai so what are these uh, what are the application of this uh, what are the differences between them theek hai then what is the reusable launch vehicle ठीक है तो देर आर मेनी थिंग्स दैट इज गोइंग ऑन पैरल एंड नथिंग इज जस्ट यू नो जस्ट जस्ट अ करंट अफेयर देर आर मेनी थिंग्स दैट हैव बीन गोइंग ऑन सिंस कपल ऑफ इयर्स एंड यू पी एस सी हैव आज क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट सो हैविंग अंडरस्टूड द बेसिक ऑफ दैट विल ट्राई विल कीप अशन ऑफ डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन एज वेल ओके आई वुड ऑल्सो गिव यू क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे if once once we are done with the different uh, satellite system for example after teaching uh, irnss i will tell you to attempt question number 2 then uh, uh, after uh, teaching you chandrayaan and uh, you know the mars orbital mission that is mangalyaan theek okay? hai i will give you to attempt question number 4 ठीक है फिर जनरल जब सब कुछ खत्म हो जाएगा तो हम लोग लास्ट में ये भी है स्पेस स्पेस स्टेशन इंडिया का खुद का स्पेस स्टेशन बहुत न्यूज़ में चल रहा है ठीक है गगनयान उसका नाम है ठीक है तो नहीं गगन यान मतलब स्पेस ह्यूमन बींग को हम लोग स्पेस में छोड़ने वाले हमारा खुद का जो स्पेस स्टेशन वो 2030 में बनेगा तैयार हो जाएगा ठीक है तो 10 इयर्स के बाद होगा तो 10 इयर्स के बाद वो करंट अफेयर होगा ही उस पर क्वेश्चन पूछा जाएगा ही बट प्रेजेंटली ऑल्सो न्यूज में चला तो ये क्वेश्चन आगे यू ने पूछ लिया फिर जब हम लोग पूरा सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर लेंगे स्पेस साइंस का तो ये क्वेश्चन लूंगा मैं आप लोगों को कि स्पेस साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पे जनरल क्वेश्चन इसका एप्लीकेशन सोशल इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट तो आप एक अच्छे पोजीशन में रहोगे इस क्वेश्चन को अटेंड करने के लिए ठीक है लॉट मेनी न्यू थिंग्स आर देयर बट जस्ट विल होल्ड फॉर द टुडे सेशन इन द कमिंग सेशन विल डेफिनेटली गो हेड विद ऑल ऑफ दोस नो टॉपिक टॉपिक बाय टॉपिक इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट and uh, uh, you don't need to worry at all uh, irrespective of uh, your uh, your stream of your studies you can study the science and technology with a very great ease from me and uh, not only having understood the technology the application uh, your awareness and understanding about uh, you know uh, the entire uh, uh, surrounding will be enhanced and uh, of course our objective of clearing the upsc will further be strengthened so uh, now uh, i would like uh, to ask our management team uh, to interact with you all and in the meanwhile if you have any questions please go ahead ask me the question uh, we did one topic today and we attempted one question of prelims coming sessions we will take more number of topics more number of question will be taught so for today let, let me ask you all if you have any question you are free to ask me Akansha have uh, asked me whether you are going to get the PDF of this. Of course, for all our students, we are going to provide uh, uh, the PDF of every session that we are going to teach, so that uh, uh, in case if we happen to skip up something or uh, you know might not be able to write it, so uh, after the end of the session, we'll give you the PDF so that you can refer it at home. Uh, a question from. Uh, The six to ten, हाँ six to ten NCERT for science only, ठीक है science के लिए. 
for 11th and 12th me geography you study you study other subjects uh, this would be taught by you know or suggested by the respective teacher for for uh, science and technology 6 to 10th is sufficient and uh, more uh, you know more on this i will be adding of course so my session will include basics that will cover from uh, ncert the advanced concept uh, the uh, the current affair also me current affair ko bhi saath mein jodte hue chalunga एंड क्वेश्चन भी कराऊंगा तो एक फुल पैकेज होगा आपके लिए तो आपको इसके अलावा कुछ ज्यादा करने की जरूरत नहीं रहेगी तो माई ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू ईज योर वर्क सो दैट योर फोकस शुड बी ओनली ऑन स्टडी एंड नॉट टू कलेक्ट मटीरियल एंड रैंडमली स्टडी सेटेलाइट वर्क मैं सब सिखाने वाला हूँ uh, इसी चैप्टर uh, में सिखाऊंगा बट नॉट इन टूडे सेशन कमिंग सेशन में आपको सेटेलाइट का पूरा पहले तो ऑर्बिट क्या होता है डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ लॉन्च व्हीकल क्या होते हैं डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सैटेलाइट क्या होता है एक्चुअल वर्किंग ऑफ द सैटेलाइट कैसे होती है एवरीथिंग विल बी टॉट रिगार्डिंग द एंटायर सिलेबस मिस रविता है बात सुनी कि वेयर विल यू गेट द एंटायर सिलेबस दैट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड फ्रॉम आवर मैनेजमेंट साइड tushar and uh, to revita the syllabus and the notes will be provided from a management side so be least worried about it you don't need to search anywhere we will provide you okay okay so abhiraj have asked me uh, whether 6 to 10th of icsc syllabus will be equal to cbse that would be okay more than sufficient ठीक है इफ यू आर फ्रॉम इफ यू आर एन आई सी स्टूडेंट दैट इज ओके यू कैन रिवाइज योर ओन स्कूल बुक्स ठीक है एंड सी द क्वेश्चन विल बी मोर ऑफ द करंट अफेयर नेचर सिक्स टू टेन स्टैंडर्ड इज ओनली टू बिल्ड योर बेसिक फॉर द कॉन्सेप्ट तो यू कैन रेफर वेरी वेल द आई सी एस सी बुक नो प्रॉब्लम इज दैट so uh, i would like to ask over here rasta ma'am uh, if you would like to proceed ahead with this session so thank you sir thank you for your fantabulous session uh, i i'm damn sure that everyone all the students will uh, have gained so much with your valuable teaching and thank you everyone for patiently reading it and studying uh i will i would like to inform you that tomorrow again we will have a session of history by our eminent speaker vishal sir so be there stay connected keep studying thank you sir uh thank you ma'am over here just one thing i would like to add that this was just uh, just uh, you know not even 1% of what we can actually deliver to you okay so yes. yeah, so the thing is uh, for upsc more than study what is required is patience thoda sa patience rakhiye dheere 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 everything will be taught in such a fantastic manner uh, we want uh, you to get selected that is objective take okay? and we know how to get it done so yes. uh, have trust on us uh, this was just uh, uh, you know not even 1% of what we can actually deliver to you so as the as we go into the detail of the topic uh, you know many things would be clarified and you will be uh, very much comfortable with uh, our way of teaching and the material that we provide so uh, stay connected and uh, uh, will definitely help you to sail this exam thank you everyone and uh, good night exactly sir thank you sir thank you ma'am